Hello, it's Dr. Claire here and today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks to puppy-proof your home. Getting a puppy is the best. Puppies provide endless joy, love and affection for the whole family. And I know it's a very exciting time for everybody. But a word of warning, puppies are also bonkers. And not only that, they're babies and they don't know what's safe and what's unsafe and what's allowed and what's not. So it's up to you to make sure your house is a safe puppy-proof environment. A good place to start is by making a list of all the obvious dangers in and around your home. I often tell owners to get down on their hands and knees because then you can see the house from the puppy's perspective and you might pick up things that you otherwise wouldn't have. Remove any items that could be broken or swallowed or chewed by the puppy. This might include pot plants, vases, sculptures, everything on the lower level of the pantry cupboard and also TV remotes, which are a very popular chew toy for dogs. Low furniture, like coffee tables and low shelves, will be within reach of your puppy. So make sure you clear away any decorative items that curious paws or waggly tails might knock over. Make sure any rubbish bins that are out in the open are heavy enough so they won't be knocked over and that they have a secure lid. You don't want your dog getting into the garbage because there's a lot of things in there that can make dogs sick, particularly puppies. Puppies are adventurous little things and they need to be kept in a fenced area or indoors, or even better, to be crate trained. If you're going to have your puppy outside, inspect the fencing area carefully, looking for any gaps that might need fixing. Puppies are escape artists, and if there is a gap, they most certainly will find a way to wiggle through it. Remove any rat poison or insect baits. I've seen puppies die from rat poison toxicities. Be careful if you have long window blind cords. Puppies are going to chew these and damage them, but more importantly, if they get tangled up in them or they swallow this string, it can be life threatening. And if you're not using some rooms, close those doors because that will help keep your puppy out of trouble. And keep the lid of your toilet closed because when they're big enough, they will definitely use the toilet as a water bowl or sometimes a swimming pool. Regularly sweep and vacuum the floor because if a puppy comes across random bits and pieces, they're most certainly gonna to try to eat them. And finally, a really important one. Remove or elevate any electrical cords or wires from your puppy's environment. This is because oral burns and electrocution is common when puppies chew on these. And if you can't do that, get wire protectors to cover them. And even if you've done that long exhaustive list of things, your puppy will still arrive and find a way to create chaos. That's just what puppies do. So good luck.